Smile and learn. Today, we're going to learn about the layers of the Earth. The Earth is formed by four different layers. These are the atmosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the geosphere. The atmosphere is the outer layer that surrounds the Earth. It is formed by gases that protect the planet from outer space dangers, like solar flares or small objects flying in space. Oxygen that is an essential element for life is found in this layer. The atmosphere is divided into five main layers. The troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and the exosphere. As we reach the surface of the Earth, we find two different layers, the biosphere and the hydrosphere. The biosphere is made up of all living beings. This layer extends downward to the depths of the oceans and upward to about 10 kilometers over the sea level. Plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria live in this layer together with all human beings. The biosphere is made up of several ecosystems like the forest, the jungle, the savanna, the desert, or the tundra. The hydrosphere is made up of all of the water on the Earth's surface. This layer includes the water on the surface, underground, and in the air. Water in the hydrosphere exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gaseous. The hydrosphere covers three quarters of our planet. That's a huge amount of water, but only 6% is fresh drinking water. That's why we should save as much water as we can and use it wisely. The inner layer of the Earth is the geosphere that extends from the surface to the center of the Earth. This solid ground habitable layer is made up of rocks, minerals, sand, and other materials. The geosphere is divided into three different layers. The crust, the mantle, and the core. Temperature rises significantly as we move deeper. That is all about the layers of the Earth. Would you like to find out more? Don't miss the next video. Hello, friends. Today, I want to take you on a very special journey to discover together new things about the Earth. Today, we're going to learn what is the relief of the Earth's surface and the types of landforms that exist. To be able to see everything much better and not miss a thing, we're going to need my drone. Are you ready for this adventure? Wow! I think we're really high now. Everything looks so different from up here. I can see that our planet is blue due to the oceans and seas on its surface. I can also see large brown and green land masses that make up the scenery. From up here, I can see that the surface of the Earth is shaped differently. This must be the relief of its surface. The relief of the Earth's surface refers to the elevation changes in the landscape. These elevation changes or landforms are called geographical features. Mountain. A mountain is a landmass which may also be made up of blocks of rock that rise above its surroundings. Mount Fuji is in Japan. Mountain. Mountain Range. A mountain range is a series of mountains connected together. I can see the Andes Mountain Range from up here. Mountain Range. Plains. 
Plains are vast areas of flat land that stretch across the Earth's surface, above sea level. For example, the Serengeti Plains in Africa. Plains. Plateau. A plateau is a flat area of land high above sea level. Look, this is the Missouri Plateau in North America. Plateau. Island. An island is a tract of land surrounded by water. Look right there. It's the island of Madagascar in Africa. Island. Archipelago. An archipelago is a group of many closely scattered islands. For example, the Caribbean archipelago between North and South America. Archipelago. Peninsula. A peninsula is a portion of land surrounded by water on three sides. Can you name a peninsula? That's it, the Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula. Cape. A cape is a narrow part of land that extends into the water, usually the sea. The Cape of Good Hope is one of the most famous capes in the world. Cape. Gulf. A gulf is part of the sea that extends into the land enclosed by two capes. Look, that's the Gulf of Mexico. Impressive. Gulf. Beach. A beach is an area of sand or pebbles near the shore of the sea, river, or lake. I love the beaches in Los Angeles. Beach. Continents are surrounded by oceans and seas. This is the Pacific Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Let's continue our journey. River. A river is a stream of water that may flow into the sea, a lake, or another river. The Nile River is the longest in Africa. River. Lakes. A lake is a large inland area of fresh water. Let's fly to the Loch Ness Lake in Scotland. Lakes. This has been a sensational journey. We've learned that the relief of the Earth's surface is the elevation changes in the landscape, and that these elevation changes or landforms are called geographical features. Mountains, mountain ranges, capes, islands, or rivers make up the Earth's relief. I've taken thousands of pictures and discovered some of the secret marvels of the Earth. See you soon, friends! Today, we're going to learn about the geosphere. The geosphere is an inner layer of the Earth, extending from its surface to the inner core of the planet. This layer is made up of solid rock and habitable ground. The thickness of the geosphere is approximately 6,730 kilometers. The geosphere is made up of rocks, minerals, magma, and sand. The closer we get to the inner core, temperature, density, and pressure progressively increase. The geosphere is made up of three concentric layers, the crust, the mantle, and the core. The crust is the thinnest, outermost layer of the geosphere. The thickness of the crust varies from 5 to 30 kilometers, depending on where you are on the Earth. The crust is made up of continents and the bottoms of the oceans. The geosphere is broken up into several tectonic plates. These make up the crust and also the mantle, and they are found in a layer called the lithosphere. Tectonic plates are constantly moving, molding the crust. Their movements causes earthquakes. The second layer of the geosphere is called the mantle. 
It is 82% of the Earth's volume, being 2,900 kilometers thick. The temperature of the mantle is really high, ranging from 700 to 1,300 degrees Celsius. That's why it's made up of molten rock called magma. Sometimes magma finds its way up to the surface and flows up through the void between the tectonic plates. This is when volcanoes erupt. The core is the innermost layer of the Earth, and it is 3,500 kilometers thick. The inner part of the core is made up of solid iron, where the outer part is made up of liquid iron and nickel. The temperature in the core is ultra-high, ranging from 4,400 to 6,000 degrees Celsius. The wide ranges of temperature and pressure conditions in the outer core cause the molten metal to move. This results in the formation of electric currents that produce magnetic fields. Did you know that thanks to these magnetic fields, we are able to use instruments like the compass? These are the layers of the geosphere. Did you like learning about them? Today in our video series about the layers of the Earth, we're going to learn about the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the outer layer that surrounds the Earth. It is formed by gases that protect the planet from outer space dangers like solar flares or small objects flying in space. Oxygen, that is an essential element for life, is found in this layer. The atmosphere also helps to control the temperature of the planet. We would find it hard to survive without the atmosphere. The difference between day and night temperatures would be huge. Depending on how high we get, the composition of the atmosphere changes, dividing itself into five main layers. The troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and the exosphere. The troposphere is the layer closer to the surface of the Earth. It measures approximately 10 kilometers high. Clouds are found in the troposphere, and weather phenomena like wind, rain, or snow occur here as well. Air, that is much needed for life on the planet, is found in the troposphere. That's why we should make sure not to contaminate it. The stratosphere extends to an altitude of 10 to 50 kilometers above sea level. The ozone layer is part of the stratosphere, and it's very important because it protects our planet from harmful UV sunlight rays. The ozone layer is getting thinner and thinner as air pollution rises. Did you know that airplanes fly in the stratosphere to avoid turbulence? The mesosphere extends to an altitude of 50 to 85 kilometers above sea level. The mesosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere. Temperatures can drop down to 90 degrees Celsius, below zero. Shooting stars occur in the mesosphere. These are meteors that travel through space. As soon as they hit the mesosphere, they start burning up, leaving a tail behind them. The thermosphere extends to an altitude of 85 to 500 kilometers above sea level. This layer is the warmest of all five layers. Air temperature on the surface of the Earth is kept constant thanks to the thermosphere. In this layer, temperatures can rise to more than 2,000 degrees Celsius. The International Space Station orbits the Earth within the thermosphere. Impressive natural phenomena, like the northern and southern lights, occur in the thermosphere. The exosphere is the most distant layer from the Earth's surface. It extends to an altitude of approximately 500 to 10,000 kilometers above sea level. Air in the exosphere is very thin. There's nothing but hydrogen and helium there. This layer is our outermost limit with space and protects us from solar flares. Satellites orbit the Earth within the exosphere. These are the five layers of the atmosphere. Very interesting, right? We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.